I love what that video created. I had no idea that that's what it would do. But I also love this comment. Let us keep on educating each other. One day we will unite again. This is necessary. It is very necessary. These conversations are long overdue. What I do want us to pay attention to is that our surnames, our last names, will definitely lead us back home. They will lead us back to our roots. Because our surnames are our compasses to finding each other. So before I carry on, I want to start something. I ask that you comment your surname with the flag of where you come from. To not get mixed up, if you find your surname in the comments, comment your surname and leave your flag in that specific thread. I promise you, 95% of the time, you are family. For instance, people don't even know that the prefix ba, ka, ma are all vital to our reconnecting, specifically if it's a prefix, so we understand the story behind it. Missionaries played a big role in our divide and rule. If we had to be straight up honest, many South Africans don't even know that there were slave raids in South Africa at the hands of the British, the Dutch, the Boers, etc. Mainly ran by missionaries. There are many wars that people don't know about. But what I know that we understand, heroes either die, go to jail, or be written a story of that makes them look like a nightmare to their community. Destructive persons either go unnoticed or you have to do more digging about who they really are. A lot of them end up our presidents or people honored by the West. When someone is written up as a warrior and a nightmare, there are many untold mysteries about who they are. Propaganda, fabrications about who they are to either fit their narrative or confuse us or put a band-aid on a bleeding wound. With the Balubedu people of South Africa, especially those of the Rain Queen Mujaji, they're also known as Balozwi or Batobolo, which is actually in relation to Balozi and Makololo, who are found in Zambia and surrounding areas. Then we have a place called Barutsiland in Zambia. I'm sure we all know that there are Basutu nation, native to South Africa that migrated north. This is a homeland of Balozi, Luyi, and Baloyi. But we also know that Baloyi also exists in South Africa. Balozi speak a Sisutu dialect called Silozi. But here's the thing, you can also find Balozi people in Congo. In relation to Maloyi and Makololo too. Bakone is Banguni, Bangoni, like people of Masengoni in Kenya. 